Hello everyone, I'm Vishu. I'm working as a general manager operations for the company called Seva at Home. Today I'm going to talk about the IDTA. IDTA is our differentiator, it's our clinical differentiator. IDTA stands for interdisciplinary team assessment. So after onboarding a patient for home care services, we are conducting this IDTA. So we have an interdisciplinary team. Interdisciplinary team uh, teams is consisted of teleconsultant doctor, nutritionist, health and wellness advisor, psychologist, physiotherapist, and the nurse case manager. So what we're doing in the IDTA? In the IDTA, what we're doing, we're gathering all the clinical information belongs to the patient and all the different healthcare professionals, the team members of the IDTA, they comes together and trying to understand the patient disease condition and help the providers to provide the best possible care at the patient's place. So how frequently we are doing the IDT? The first IDT we are doing within the 24 to 48 hours of starting the services. The consecutive IDTAs we are doing after a week of first IDTA for the first month and followed by every 15 days. So uh, why? what is the objective uh, of uh, doing the IDTA? Is basically is to provide, the main objective is to provide the more efficient, supervised and comprehensive need-based care to the patient. Second objective is to do the medicines and the treatment reconciliation. Third objective is to assist the patient in healing. Fourth objective is to uh, set the routine of the patient pa patient for the care so the provider gets to know like uh, set the schedule like what uh, care schedule so he's very he or she is very clear about the type of services is to provide it's just is to uh, to develop the interpersonal relationship and give a sense of security to the patient and the family member so at the end of any concerns inquiry they can approach to any of the specialists to get the expert opinion. So to raise the level of knowledge and expertise to our providers working on the patient sites, kind of a more supervised care that we can provide. To monitor any incident occurring at the patient location while receiving the services to address all the concerns and queries related to the patient care. So how we are doing the ID team. So we have an IT-based platform where we are creating the uh, the patient uh, PPR that is a patient provider relationship with the doctor with the concerned doctor, nurse, nutritionist, physiotherapist, psychologist, health and wellness advisors, and a nurse case manager. Nurse case managers uh, act like a IDTA custodian and arrange a call between the patient, family member, provider, and uh, and the IDTA team members. So what we're doing, we're taking the discharge summary, prescriptions uh, belongs to the patient to understand the case and the team uh, evaluate th that complete summary and they are doing the assessment. Doctor is doing the doctor assessment portion, nurse is doing the nurse portion of assessment, physiotherapist is doing his portion of assessment, nutritionist is doing his, her, his or her uh, portion of assessment and psychologist to understand the mental health condition to the <clears throat> uh, his or her uh, level of assessment. And health and wellness advisors consolidate all the points and uh, share the immediate summary to the patient about the patient disease condition and the care schedule that we plan for the patients. Same process we are following for the consecutive IDTAs. Thank you.